cure for trouble with your spouse might be a good night's sleep. Hmm, health anchor Liz Bonus <laughs> shares new research from Ohio State in today's Living Longer Report. Scott, we all know you feel lousy, but now if you don't sleep, you may up the odds of a spat with your spouse, which can also up the odds of health problems due to inflammation. Researchers at The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center took samples from couples before and after an argument. Those who fought after not getting enough sleep had levels of inflammation that were 10% higher than those who did not argue. Inflammation has been linked to everything from obesity to heart disease to cancer risk. So what should you do, especially nowadays if you're not sleeping? We know the sun comes up earlier, it stays up later. It can be hard to fall asleep or not wake up early. So we asked some local experts about what you should do. One of the things that comes up continuously is total body exercise. What are some of the things that are recommended? Elliptical cycles, great. Uh, water activities are probably one of our best exercise because we are able to utilize all of the muscle groups when you're utilizing the water. Mm -hmm. And it's also very easy on your joints, a lot less impact. Dr. Bruce Holliday says if you can do light impact, walking is a great exercise. It also helps you sleep if you stay on the same sleep schedule and cut back on caffeine. Since the study found resolving the conflict reduces inflammation, you might want to do a few of these things for your health and your marriage. Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And if you're wondering how long you need to sleep, seven hours a night appears to be enough sleep to reduce the odds of arguing and inflammation. Kind of makes sense. I mean, when you're really tired, it's like, just don't mess with me. It As hurts. if we needed another reason to get more sleep. I know, now you can chalk good. it up to the success of your marriage. <laughs> there you go.